Genesis chapter 30. When Rachel saw that she had not borne children to Jacob, she became inverse, envious of her sister. She said to Jacob, Give me children or I shall die. Jacob became angry with Rachel and said, Can I take the place of God who has denied you the fruit of the womb? She replied, Here is my maid servant, Belrash. Have intercourse with her and let her give birth on my knees so that I too may have children through her. So she gave him her maid servant Balhi as wife and Jacob had intercourse with her. When Balhi conceived and bore a son for Jacob, Rachel said, God has vindicated me. Indeed, he has heard my plea and gave me a son. Therefore, she named him Dine, Dan. Rachel's maid servant, Bala, conceived again and bore a son, second son for Jacob. And Rachel said, I have wasted extremely seriously with my sister, and I have prevailed. So she named him Nap, Naf. Tia, when Laban saw that she had cursed, ceased to bear children, she took her maid servant Zalvin and gave her to Jacob as a wife. So Laban married maid servant Zalvin, born a son for Jacob. Laban then said, What good luck! She said, so she named him Gad. Then Levi's made Leah's maid so it Southy bore a second son to Jacob, and Le Laron said, What good fortune, because women will call me fortunate. So she named him Asha. One one day during the wheat harvest, Reuben went out and came upon some Man, Mandrex in the field which he brought home to his mother Leva. Rachel said to Leva, please give me some of your son's Mandrex. Leva replied, was it not enough for you to take away my husband that you now must now take my son's Mandrex too? Rachel answered, in the case in that case, Jacob may lay with you tonight in exchange for my son's maverick. That evening, when Jacob came in the f from the field, Le Leon went out to meet him and said, You must have intercourse with me because I have hired you with my son's maid mandrick. So that night he laid with her. And God listened to Laron. She conceived and bore a fourth son to Jacob. Laron then said, God has given me my wage, wages for giving my maid servants to my husband. So she named him Isaiah. Isaiah. Leah conceived again and bore a sixth son to Jacob. And Leah said, God has brought me a precious gift. This time my husband will honor me because I have borne him six sons. So she named him Zabulna. Afterwards, she gave birth to a daughter and she named her Dinah. Then God remembered Rachel. God listened to her and made her fruitful. She conceived and bore a son and said, God has removed my disgrace. She named him Jake Joseph, saying, May the Lord add another son for me. After Rachel gave birth to Joseph, Jacob said to Laban, Allow me to give to my own region and land. Give me my wives 
and my children for whom I serve you and let me go for you know the servant that I rendered you. Laban answered him, if you will please, I have learned through divisions that the Lord has blessed me because of you. He continued, state the wage I owe you and I will pay them. Jacob replied, You know what work I did for you and how well your livestock fared upon under my care. The little you had before I came has grown into an abundance. Since the Lord has blessed you in my company, now when can I do something for my own household as well. Laban asked, What should I give you? Jacob answered, You do not have to give me anything. If you do this thing for me, I will agree pursuit and tend your sheep. Let me go through your whole flock today and remove from it every dark animal among the lambs and every spotted or speckled one among the goats. Thus will be my wages. In the future, whenever you check on my wages, my honesty will testify for me. Any animal that is not speckled or spotted among the goats or dark among the lambs get into my possessions by thief thievery laban said very well let it be as you have said then that day came laban removed the speckled and spotted he goats and all the speckled and spotted she goats all those who with some white on them as well as every dark lamb and he put them in the care of his son, sons. Then he put a three days journey between himself and Jacob. While Jacob was pasturing the west of Laban's flock. Jacob, however, got some fresh shot, shoot, shoots of pop, poplar and almond and Plain trees, and he peeled white stripes in them by laying bare the white core of the stalk. The stalk had that he had peeled in them set up upright in the watering thought where the animals came to drink, so that they would be in front of them. When the animals were in heat as they came to drink, the goats mated by the shout, and soon they gave birth to sparkled, sparkled, and spotted young. The sheep, on the other hand, Jacob kept apart, and he made their animals face the strikes, strikes or completely dark animals of Laban. Thus he produced flocks of his own, which he had not put with Laban's fox, flocks. Whenever the hardened animals were in heat, Jacob would set the stocks in the trough in full view of these animals so that they mated by the stocks but with the weaker weaker animals he would put not put the stocks there so the freebie animals would go to Laban but the hardened ones to Jacob so the men grew extremely prosperous and he loaned large flocks, male and female servants, cam camels and donkeys. End of chapter twenty. Sorry, end of chapter thirty.